हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन सो द क्वेश्चन से इज इन फिगर ट्वेंटी नाइन फोर्टी फोर फाइव लॉन्ग पैरल वायर्स इन एन एक्स वाई प्लेन आर सेपरेटेड बाय डिस्टेंस डी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर द करंट इन टू द पेज आर आई वन इज इक्वल टू टू एम पी आर आई थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव एम पी आर आई फोर इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एम पी आर एंड आई फाइव इज इक्वल टू टू एम पी आर द करंट आउट ऑफ द पेज इज टू इज आई टू इज इक्वल टू फोर एम पी आर वट इज द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द नेट फोर्स पर यूनिट लेंथ एक्टिंग ऑन वायर थ्री ड्यू टू द करंट इन अदर वायर सो द फिगर इज गिवन टू अस नाउ लेट अस फर्स्ट रिवाइज द की कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन सो द की कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज फर्स्ट इज दैट वेन एवर टू वायर्स आर अलॉन्ग ईच अदर टू लॉन्ग वायर्स लेट सपोज and if they have the current in same direction then they are attracted or they have an attractive force we can write attraction here and if two wires have opposite direction of current then they have repulsive force we can write repulsion here okay so this is uh, the first key concept the second key concept can be given uh, by the formula b is equal to sorry force per unit length the formula for force per unit length is given by mu not i1 i2 upon 2 pi d this is the formula for force per unit length which is being asked for the case of third third by so let us first uh, find out so for solution part what do we have for solution part the third wire let's suppose this is the third wire this is second this is first this is fourth and this is fifth let's mark them 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the third wire will have a force f2 in this direction because uh, let's mark their direction uh, direction of current so this is the direction of current for all of these and for this okay so sorry they are uh, opposite i mean secondly mark them opposite in direction so it is like this second wire and third wire so the third second wire will be out of the page and all of them are inside the page okay so now as 2 and 3 are in opposite direction uh, we can write the force vector is in this direction f2 now f3 and 4 are in uh, same direction then f2 will uh, add with f4 again because f4 will be attractive now f5 will also be attractive hence it will be f5 and there will be an another attraction force with wire one hence f1 will be in this direction so the net force f net can be written as f2 plus f4 plus f5 minus f1 so this is what we need to calculate now let us calculate it so in all of the forces mu not into i3 upon 2 pi will be constant okay so we will find uh, we will take them common mu not i3 mu not i3 upon 2 pi is constant now f2 for f2 i2 upon distance between 2 and 3 so it will be i2 upon d plus f4 will be i4 upon d now f5 will be i5 upon 2d because their distance is now 2d f1 will be i1 upon 2d where because their distance is 2d now let's take d also common so it will be equal to mu not upon 2 pi can be written as 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 i3 is given to us what is the value of i3 it is 0.250 it is 0.25 d is also taken as common so it will be putting d value so it will be 0.5 meters now inside the bracket i2 is given to us as 4 i4 is given to us as 6 i5 is given to us as 
2 ampere so it will be 2 upon 2 minus i1 is given to us as 2 upon 2 so solving this we will get 1 here and 1 here and they will cancel each other out because they are in minus okay so now 2 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 will cancel each other out and hence this will come out to be equal to 10 to the power minus 7 into 10 which is 10 to the power minus 6 newton per meter so this is force per unit length which we needed to find out so this is the final answer let's highlight it here i hope you understood it well thank you